Today we're going to have a look at calipers. These are a tool that was commonly used in a bygone era, but will still be found in the toolbox of the machinist. This is a set of outside calipers, and this is a set of inside calipers. You can tell by the measuring edges. These are meant to measure inside diameters, and these two measuring edges are meant to measure outside diameters. These happen to be spring joint calipers. So as I squeeze them, there's a spring that loads onto a nut. I can adjust the size of the measuring tips by adjusting the nut. These actually have a really unique feature, whereas if I squeeze it a little bit, I have a split nut that can actually open up and slide quite easily up and down the thread. But if I put a little bit of pressure on it, now I can adjust that split nut on the thread and it will turn the calipers in or out. The idea behind these calipers is to measure roughly over the outside of a piece of stock or on the inside of a piece of stock. So if we take a piece of pipe, for example, and I put the caliper over it, you can see it doesn't go, but if I adjust this nut with my one hand, I want to turn it back until it just slides over. And then I'll turn the nut in until I just feel a little bit of drag with both of these measuring faces being on the same plane. In other words, I don't want to twist it. I want to have it across the same plane and get just a little bit of drag. Now you will notice that there is no graduation on this tool. So what I would have to do is I would have to take another tool with a scale and put it up against this tool. This is called a transfer type measuring tool and this is transfer measurement. I would then hold the rule up against the one measuring face and measure out to the size required. In this case it would be two and a quarter inches. Because it is a transfer type measuring tool and you may not have a lot of experience using this tool, I would suggest that you try to take the measurement at least twice and see if you get the same size. The other tool is the inside caliper and this happens to be an inside spring joint caliper. How these would work is I would set it inside a bore on the one leg and again I would be adjusting the nut up top. Now what I want to do in the bore as I'm adjusting the nut is I want to have it sit against the one surface of the bore and I want to wiggle the top one back and forth as I'm turning the nut and I also want to have the caliper go into the bore and back and I just want to be able to feel the highest point until it just drags. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it inside the bore and I'm going to, to hold this bottom leg in place and I'm going to have the nut come in a little bit and then I'm going to move the tool back and forth and in and out until I just get a little bit of drag on it. Now this is a little more tricky than using the outside calipers. The inside ones require a little more skill. Now I have the size set. I want to be very, very careful I don't hit this nut changing the size of these measuring points. What I would do now is I would then take some type of a measuring tool. In this case, I can choose a micrometer and I can measure across the face until we get the size required. So what I would do is set it on the one leg, measure it back and forth and in and out. Again, now that we have the size of that bore, I would hold the one leg against the far end of the micrometer. I would start to move the thimble of the micrometer in towards the other leg. As I'm moving the caliper across the measuring face and also back and forth across the micrometer till I got the same feel that we had inside the bore. And this part is very close to inch and three quarters inside diameter, two and a quarter outside inch diameter, two and a quarter outside inch diameter, 
one and three quarter inside diameter, so it would have a quarter inch wall thickness. Again, inside calipers, spring joint. Outside calipers, spring joint. They also come in a firm joint. Although these are not calipers, they do have a firm joint, and I wanted to show you how it would work with a firm joint caliper. So what it is, is the joint is a little bit sticky, and then the other end would look either like these two tools. The idea would be for the outside calipers is just to set it a little bit wide and then take the tool and tap it on a surface and then try and slide it over. Firm joint.